Senua. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother, Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her, banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion. Until Dillion's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries, until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her.
do I know you? It's been a long time. She made a promise to the one she loved, dead now, but no less. A promise. Not one soul more would suffer as he had. She carries him in her heart. His death, his life, will drive her on. She will forge a purpose from his death. Make meaning from the pain. And then the Northmen came again to our land. Stripping us of our names, our lives, of everything that makes us who we are. Beating and finding, taking us as slaves. These Northmen sail under a blood red sign. And one among them they call Master. Senua will follow that sign. She let herself be taken, dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source, find the heart, and cut it out. Stop the slavers. Keep her promise. But plants can drift off course. begins as it ends, alone in the dark. Even when you're pulled by forces dim and vast, fate can stop you cold. That dream has founded with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by. Find the next sign. Don't think about the pain. Use your mind. You are a 
She's ever known half drowned, lost in a world still clouded to her eyes. But she won't yield. She must fight on, as she always has. Remember, we've been to hell before. There it is. This is only the beginning of crime, sir. You need to climb again. She will fall if she does. She will die. Climb, Senua. Climb, climb. She's hurt. So tired. She's going to fall. No. Careful, Senua. Careful. draw her onward. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not save. She can hear them calling. Lives stolen by the Northmen. She carries them with her. Always. She is afraid, exhausted. Stronger forces drive her on. 